everyone. <coughs> Hello everyone. Let's provide a solution to this problem. We have square root of two squared, two x squared equal to three x. Now, how do we solve this problem? Open this bracket first. So we have two x multiplied by two x. And this is equal to 3x. The next thing is multiply what you have here. 2 times 2 is 4. x times x is x squared. And this is equal to 3x. Now bring everything to the same side. So that 4x squared minus 3x is equal to 0. Now, the next thing we are going to do is to factorize because something is common to both of them and that is x, right? So here we have 4x minus here we are going to have just 3 and this is equal to 0. Now, if you open this bracket, you are going to get this back. Now, we say that it is either x is equal to 0 or 4 x minus 3 is equal to 0. Now, x here remains 0. And on this side, 4x is equal to 0 plus 3, and that is 3. Now, x remains 0. Or from here, x will be equal to 3 over 4. That is, dividing both sides by the coefficient of x. Now, the next thing is, let's confirm our answer. Remember, we had 2x to the power of 2 being equal to 3x, right? So, if we put 0 as the value of x, it will be satisfying because everything here will be 0 and everything on the right will be 0. So, 0 is satisfying. Then, if we put 3 over 4, that means we'll be having 2 multiply by 3 over 4 to the power of 2. Will this be equal to 3 multiplied by 3 over 4? Because x is now 3 over 4, right? To continue with this, 2 can go here 2 times, right? So this means that we are having 3 over 2 to the power of 2. Will this be equal to, on this side, 3 times 3 is 9, and then we have it over 4. I think by now we can see that they are the same thing on both sides, right? Because 3 squared will give 9, and 2 squared will give 4. And this is equal to 9 over 4 on the right-hand side. So, we are correct to say that x is equal to 0 or 3 over 4. Thank you for watching.